Hello and welcome to Croon and Anog with Driad. I'm Andrew, I'm an artist, and today I'm going to help you build a little village. So, on the website you can find these templates that I've made up and you can download and print off. But if you don't have a printer, that's absolutely fine too, because I'm going to show you how we can make our own. All you need is a sheet of white paper. Now, if you go look for something square, and here I found a little soapbox, you'd be able to make your own. So all you need is the blank space and the pencil and the square. And what we do is we lay it down and we draw around it like this. One, two, three, four. And then we move it up just beside it. And we go again, around, down, and on the bottom. And we do that again across, down, and the bottom, and one last time, across, down, and bottom. There we go. So now we have four little squares all in a row, but we want to make it look like it's across. So we're going to draw one at the bottom, like that, and one just at the top. And there we have it. So this is the basic template that we have with six little squares. So what we need to do now is add in the little extra bits that make the tabs for when we're cutting. These will help it stick together. Now first things first, with the ruler we'll straighten out all our lines. So just a straight line and a pencil and ruler across. And there we go. And we'll do this for all of the sides across and down and down Now, so there it is done. So again, we just need to add the tabs. And if you look at the original template, you'll see all these little extra bits. See there? So we want to add them on to ours. And you don't have to be as careful with this. You can make them as big or as small as you like. It really doesn't matter because you won't see them anyway. So we'll just add them on, add a little bit of an angle at each corner, and then straight across and then down. And there you have it. It looks exactly like the template that you can get on the computer. So now, what we need to do is we want to decorate it. So, what do we want to make? Do we want to make a house? Do we want to make a gallery? Do we want to make a shop? I think I'm going to make a gallery, because that's the thing I miss most. So, using my black marker, I'm just going to start to draw. And these four across the, mi across the middle they're going to be our main sides and front and back. So first of all, I'll draw a little door. Just like that. And because it's a gallery, it's going to need a big window. So people can see in and see the different artworks. And of course we'll draw a little artwork just inside the window that people can see if they walk by. And we'll pretend it's hanging up there. And we have to show what it is, so we'll just write Art Gallery all across the top. Ta-da! Now we have to think in the back. So we'll add a little door at the back so people can go in and out through the back way as well. Maybe they have a little garden back there that they like to sit and have for lunch in it. And let's draw a little window 
up the top. And maybe that's where they have an office or something. Now, so we've got the front, the back, and the two sides. So now our big thing is to colour it in. And you can use whatever you want here. You can use markers, crayons, pencils, pens, chalk, whatever it is you have at home, that's perfectly okay to use. So I'm going to start off with a crayon and I'm going to colour in the main, main building, maybe blue. No, no, I'm not going to do blue, I'm going to do pink. So let's colour in all around the walls, just like that, a nice pink building by Kreuk. Hmm, what will I do here? Oh, maybe I'll do one like my favourite artist, Mondrian. He uses lots of lines and lots of nice bold colours. Now, yeah, so now we just colour in the front, the sides, and the back. And you can be messy here, it doesn't really matter, because if you go outside the lines, we're going to be cutting that bit out anyway. So there we are. Front, back, and sides. Now, yeah, these are the top and the bottom. So it doesn't really matter what you put on the bottom, so I'm just going to write my name and put a little smiley face. Ta-da! Now, on the top, you can colour it in, so let's colour it in the same colour. So there we have it. There is our gallery, all decorated and ready to go. Next step is we cut it out. So we get a scissors, and you might need a help with this one from the grown-up, and we just cut all the way around. And there we have it. And as you can see, it looks exactly like the template. Perfect. So now we're going to start folding and make it into a cube. And if you stop and if you look on the original template, you'll see some of the lines, like this, have dots. And that's where you fold. So we're going to match up those dots and fold along those lines. So there it is all folded. And as you can see, it's kind of coming together. So let's stick it together. Now I'm using glue, a stick glue. You can use whatever you want. If you have sellotape at home, that's fine. Or if you have any other kind of tape or any other kind of glue, perfectly fine. You just glue up all of the little tabs. All the way around. And 
and then fold it around and we can stick it all together. And it can get a bit tricky, but don't worry. And there we have it, a little gallery. So as you can see, it's all done on all sides. And if you want to decorate it further, when it's stuck together, you can. So maybe, hmm, I'd add some more windows. Wonky windows. Just on this side. And you can add more decorations if you want. So there we have it. Now, the roof is looking pretty plain at the moment, and that's okay. It might be a flat roof, but there are other templates that you can download as well that we can show you how to make more triangularly shaped roofs. So let's go get some. So here are some of the other shapes, and this one will fold together and it'll make like a little pyramid that you can stick on top. And here's one, and I've already cut out and folded exactly the same way as the other one. And coloured it in. And up. There we have it. A little roof for our gallery. Now, you can make loads and loads and loads and cut them out and colour them all in different ways. Some of the ones on the website have different patterns on them, but you can use them that are completely blank and go with your, your own design. So maybe there's a really tall one, or a short one and a house beside it, or three houses in a row maybe. Oh, or a house and an apartment. And a giant tunnel tower. A tunnel tower. Like an elevator. So you can add them up, you can mix and match them whatever way you want. Hmm. Ta-da! A little bit of my gallery. Oh, and it all fall down. But that's okay. So here we have... Start with a little street. And you can add them and... Mix them up and make them whatever way you want. So there we have a tower block, a really tall tower block, right beside our gallery. Let's hope lots of people come and visit. And there's a little roof. There we go. Hey. Now, so there's my little gallery. Now you can make whatever you want and you can make loads of them. The whole idea is to make lots and lots of little cubes that you can then stick together to make your own little town or village. You can add things like shops and houses and apartments. You could add a cinema. You could even build a castle if you'd like with lots and lots of towers. We hope you have lots of fun and I'm looking forward to seeing all the photos that you send in of the little villages you've made yourself. Bye!